Number 32, identify the following properties as either extensive or intensive. And then I see A through E, so I'm just going to quickly say A, B, C, D, and we'll put E at the bottom. Now, let's next go into the difference between extensive and intensive. So just know that extensive properties, I'll just put EP here, extensive properties change depending on how much matter there is. So how much mass, so I gave you one extensive property, mass is an extensive property, so mass or how large something is, how much matter uh, that it contains. Okay, on the flip side, intensive properties, IP, are properties that do not change depending on how much you have of it, depending on, ooh, does not changing. So does not change depending on matter. So the standards is for extensive properties, mass changes depending on how much you have of it, volume will change, and heat. Know those three. There's could be other ones, but those three are like the givens. And then intensive properties are any melting point or boiling point. Um, temperature, color, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So now let's go get into it. So, A, volume. Does the volume change depending on how much you have of a substance? Absolutely. You could have large volumes and you could have small volumes of a specific substance. So since it changes depending on the matter, this is a extensive property. Letter B, temperature. Does temperature change depending on how much you have or how much you don't have of a certain substance depending on matter? Mm, that doesn't really sound right, right? Temperature, and it's over here, temperature does not change depending on how much you have of something. So this one would be intensive. Letter C, humidity. Does humidity change depending on how much matter you have, or does it not depend on how much you have? Does it change whether you have a lot of something or a little something? No. This one, humidity does not change depending on how much matter you have. And since that's the case, humidity is um, intensive. Almost there. Letter D, heat. Does the amount of heat given off a, a given substance change if you have a lot of it or a little of it, or does it not change? Heat definitely changes depending on if you have a lot of something or a little of something. And it's right here. Heat is one of your extensive properties. So that's over here, extensive. And then last but not least, we have boiling point. Does a boiling point change for a substance that you have a little bit of or a lot of? No, right? Doesn't matter if I have a lot of water. So let's just say 100 grams of water versus 10 grams of water. What's the boiling point of water? BP boiling point will always be 100 degrees Celsius. So it doesn't change whether you have a little bit of matter or a lot of matter. Boiling point is a intensive property. There you go, guys. Hope this helped. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.